Hey, Shalom. All oh, praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Kakodash. Hey, much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David. And Shalom to all you false brothers out there and you false prophets uh, spying out our liberty that we have in Yahweh Shai. Uh, I want to go over this um, the, uh, the, the narrow path of the new covenant, the, the straight gate. Um, the, the narrow path of the new covenant is, is a is a path where men have to come down that path one at a time to enter into the Lord. And, and that's what we're teaching. You know, this is a narrow path. So what you got to understand about that narrow path, if, if a path is narrow, that means not too many people can go down that path at one time. It has to be one at a time, and that's what the new covenant is. It is something that is picking up steam, but it's still something where you have to enter in one at a time, and you do this uh, by being totally persuaded in your own mind. Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. Because you have to be fully persuaded um, in your mind to understand um, Yahweh Shai and to be able to enter in. You know, when you fully enter in in your mind, then you. And your foundation is sure on your Yahweh Shai. And it's something of the spirit. It's nothing carnal that you have to see. Uh, the new covenant is dealing with a, a spiritual mind frame. Everything of the new covenant is spiritual. You see, so there's no carnal lambs. There's no dates the Lord told you to keep. Uh, the Lord said uh, he was in a temple daily. He said, uh, he said, if, if you... Or in your house, you had to pick up your cross daily and follow me. So every day is a Passover. Every day is a, is a Sabbath day. Every day is a rest. And for you to be fully persuaded in your own mind, this is how you are able to enter in. You have to be fully persuaded. You see, and the things of the world. And the things of the world and the things of broad paths are not a part of the narrow path. And, and that's what we're telling you, brothers, you know, of the new covenant. You know, you brothers that have ears to listen, a lot of you guys, you don't like correction. But, you know, the reason you re will rebuke is because you rebuke before all in hopes of some brothers I get it right off the back because that's what happens a lot of guys at the time when you rebuke or you say certain things that guys might not understand uh, well, the first thing is going to happen is a lot of guys are going to reject it but then certain guys are going to see where us brothers is coming from where the spirit is coming from and they're going to examine it and they're going to be like okay damn okay and they're going to move accordingly the right way but the majority of the time when you rebuke, uh, a lot of guys are not going to accept it. So we're, we're only, this new covenant is only for a few. Paul said, I became all things to all men that I might save some. So the rebuke goes out there and, and the majority of people, they shun it off or they hate it or they think we're hating or they think, I don't know, guys think we're jealous. Well, we're telling you that the broad path of the world and camps is not a part of the narrow path of the new covenant. You know, that that is all we've told, brothers. You see, so you, you're not really moving in a narrow path if you're bringing wide gate uh, things into it. And the, the truth is a lot of guys are, are not, are a lot of guys are set up against the new covenant, trying to bring confusion. You got to understand that a lot of you, a lot of you are naive. You know, uh, you think everybody that just teaching is okay. It's, it's not like that. You really have to evaluate everybody. And so, you know, we'll be the bad guy for telling brothers that they can't be in a broad path mind frame in a narrow path of the new covenant. 
uh, Romans chapter 14, verse 5, it says, One man esteems one above another, another esteems every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. You see that? So you be fully persuaded in your own mind. Or if you're if you're not fully persuaded, then you're not able to enter in. A lot of guys are not able to enter in, just like these camps. They're not persuaded. They don't believe in your house, right? so they're just out there. They'll be out there forever with no end to it. So when you understand your how shy, I always talk about it. You go to, uh, let's see, Mark, what was that, Mark 12, real quick. He told us you have to beware of guys that like to be seen. It's, it, it becomes a certain point that you don't have to be seen like that. These camps have, these. first of all, these camps are not even under the New Covenant. They, they're rejecting it. So they're not in the spirit of Yahweh or the New Covenant. Hey, they call it a New Covenant demon. So they hate the spirit of the New Covenant actually teaching Yahweh Shai. Because all we're doing is teaching Yahweh Shai, making man understand what it is. And a lot of people hate that because they're contrary to Yahweh Shai. This is what you got to understand. Mark 12 and 38. And he said unto them, in his doctrine, beware of scribes which love to go in long calling and love salutations in the market places and the chief seats in the synagogues and the other most rooms at feasts, right? You got to beware guys putting themselves out there that always have to be seen. Now, I know a lot of brothers came out of camps and this, that, and the third where you always have to put your fucking face in the camera and this, that, and the third. You don't have to fucking do that all the time. The Lord wasn't doing that. Uh, the Lord wasn't out there like that to be seen of men. So you got to understand. Uh, John chapter 7 verse 10, it says, But when his brethren were gone up, went, then went he also up to the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. So the Lord was, he wasn't out there open like that all the time to be seen. The false prophets, when you go to Matthew 23, they always wanted to be seen. So the narrow path of the Lord is not like the broad gates of, of camps. Matter of fact, the more people that that they, they, they hear the new covenant and cling unto it, the more that us brothers of it had to keep, you know, keep a low, keep keep going low, low and low. Because you can't cast pearls to swine. A lot of guys are swine, so you can't really cast pearls to them. The multitude that guys is, is talking about, you're not going to see a multitude. You know, guys thinking they're going to see this and see that. They, they, guys are in a carnal mind frame. Uh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 it says enter ye in at the straight gate so this is a straight path it's a narrow road like in sacred edges only one can go down at a time this ain't uh, something where you're going to enter in with a crowd or you're going to enter in with the most popular actually the Lord told you this too Matthew chapter 10 verse 24 so by by how us understanding you how shy and understanding the gospels and going in the gospels we could weed out guys that still are of the world you know it's easy for us to to weed out and and bring out certain things because guys are still in the mind frame of the world so when you go over you how shy and you explain he didn't get no honors he didn't have no place to rest his head he went up to the Passover secretly and uh, opened the Jews, saw his life. And after a certain point, he wasn't out there in the markets to be seen like that. Then you'll understand who's not really moving like the Lord and who's not in the spirit. So if we don't teach this in a respect of persons. We don't teach this for clout or views or for people to like us. We teach this um, as giving you the truth as it is. Now, a lot of people don't like that because they find themselves not lining up with it. And they'll say, we're hating and we're jealous. and Nobody's jealous of shit. We're happy the new covenant is going out. But 
the new covenant and the way of the world don't mix together. If you're bringing the, the way of the world and you think you're a part of the new covenant, then you're not in the spirit. You're in the spirit of the world still. And that's what we have going on. So a lot of guys think that, you know, we should just sit back and don't say nothing. Just be happy. Everybody teaching. That's just not how it goes. The scripture tell you to enter in at the straight in the straight gate. The new covenant is a straight gate. A lot of people don't understand that. It's not something where you make yourself popular. It's something where you enter into the Lord and you fully believe in the Lord and you repent. So you could be sealed. This ain't something of the world. Um, the new, the old Passover, you know, of Moses, that's not going to get you sealed in your mind. Let me say that again. The, the old Passover of Moses, that's not going to get that's not going to cause the elect to be sealed. You have to be fully persuaded in your mind, having the Lord in your heart and your heart has to be pure. That's why a lot of guys say they're still waiting on power because they don't have pure hearts. So they don't see the power because they're carnal. So this is another way we see that guys ain't right teaching the new covenant. There's many ways. And so a lot of guys, they look at us, you know, like we're hating, but really we're just letting you know that guys are not in the right spirit that say they're teaching the new covenant. The scripture tell you to, to rebuke and absorb with with all long suffering. That's what that's what this doctrine is for. This is this is what Yahweh Shai brought. He brought correction. And it just so happens a lot of our people, they don't like correction. But you have to be corrected in order to repent to get out of here. If you can't move like Yahweh Shai and repent and, and, and move like the Lord did, that's what he meant when he meant the, the drink the flesh of my blood and, and blood of my flesh. If you don't, you ain't going to have no life in you. So if you're not moving like Yahweh Shai, you don't really have no life in you like that. And that's all we're telling you. If you don't have no love, there's no life in you. And it's love to tell men when they're, it's love to correct men. A lot of guys really don't want to correct men because they really don't have love like that. They want love. They want to, they, they, they don't want to be hated. They want to be looked at something. And this ain't about that. Matthew 10 and 22, it says, And he, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. It didn't say you'll be honored. That honor shit, that's part of the false doctrine of camps. But you have to purge that shit out of you. Because a, a true prophet is without honor. All the false prophets are being honored. In these false camps. It says, but he that endureth unto the end shall be saved, right? Enduring to the end is enduring the hate. Enduring, uh, teaching the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Teaching repentance unto the new covenant is crazy. You have camps, they say repent. And then it's like, well, what the fuck are you repenting to? The laws of Moses? Are you repenting to the elders? You see what I'm saying? So these camps are backwards. The law of Moses the elect cannot be sealed off of the old law of Moses. So the, these camps are not singing the new song. And really the new song, only the 144,000 are going to be able to sing it. And 144,000, not including the, the multitude that guys like to talk about, not including the believers, just 144,000, that's less than like 3% of the world's population. So the, the elect, right? In the narrow path of the new covenant, it's a small path and it's not for the world. That's why a lot of you guys think this is of the world and views and no, it's not. It's, it's of the spirit. And when men are, are sealed, you're not going to see men be sealed. So the Lord said you should be hated of all men. And you'll be prosecuted. You know, men are going to seek your life. Men are going to hate you. They're going to say all types of things about you. That's why the Lord said in Matthew 5, rejoice and be exceedingly glad for your name is written in heaven. So we rejoice, man. We really, we really do. Matthew 5 and 8, bless all the pure in heart for they shall see power. So guys are not pure and they haven't fully repented. That's why they don't see the power and what the new covenant is doing and what the healing that it is doing for people. So for guys to make a statement, they can't wait to see the healing. That means that they're not pure. 
and they haven't repented. And it, it, no, regardless if you guys like it or not, a lot of you guys need to repent. You know, we love brothers teaching the new covenant, but the new covenant ain't something of the world. You can know all these things and still not have love for your brother and go off at certain things. And the thing about it is that it still make you not in line with, with Yahweh Shai and the power. You got to understand this is a narrow path. Only one man can walk down and you have to walk as the Lord did in his flesh. Not not how camps are walking in their flesh and the elders walked. You got to walk in the flesh of Yahweh Shai. Matthew 5 and 11, blessed are ye when, when men shall revile you and prosecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so prosecuted day the prophets which were before you. Right. So the true men of the Lord, they weren't honored. They were prosecuted. They were hated. So we rejoice, man. You know, even, you know, not just at. Guys of the camps hating us, but even you guys that, that claim you're of the you're teaching the new covenant, because we see that a lot of guys are not really of it teaching it, because a lot of guys they hate reproof, and that is a bad sign. That is a real bad sign to let you know guys ain't really right. Uh, Matthew chapter seven verse fourteen it says, "Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life, and few there be." That find it. So the scriptures say it's only going to be a few that find it. Let me read. Uh, let me read this again. Matthew seven and thirteen. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth unto destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Right. So the the new covenant is not a wide gate. It's a it's a it's a uh, it's a narrow path. It says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. That's right. And once you become that few, then you're like a treasure hidden in the in an open field. What the scripture tell you in, in um, Matthew 13 right here. And if you're a treasure, you're not out there on every corner like a fucking whore. That's what guys don't understand. Once you... Um, enter in and you become of your how shy you don't have to be seen of men like that all the time but a lot of guys because they're not in the right spirit they're doing this to be seen they're not doing this because they they love the lord they're doing this to be seen the ordinance of the camps in the way of the world is not like the new covenant the new covenant is totally different you have to move like your how shy not like how camps and elders you know these camps and these elders gave you the wrong way to look at how to move like Yahweh Shai in, in the new covenant and his truth, period. So that's why you have so much conflict with guys because they still have that old camp man on them. And you have to like purge out that old camp man and the shit that the camps did and like to be seen all the fucking time. You don't have to be seen all the time. The false prophets like to be seen all the time. And like I say, that's why Esau too, guys that teach out on the street and Esau don't care about none of that because Esau understands that a lot of you guys heart ain't with the Lord like that. And the majority of guys are teaching against the new covenant and guys that's in the new covenant. They're against the new covenant themselves because they're bringing shit of the world into it. So a lot of you guys teaching out on the street, that don't mean that you're of the Lord, man. It really don't. Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in a field. That's why the scriptures talk about the hidden ones in Psalms. The hidden ones are of the Lord. That's why the Lord couldn't walk no more openly out there amongst the Jews because they saw for his life because he was really teaching the new covenant. He was really bringing in the law, his law. And so he was hated for teaching that. And he was teaching it every day in the temple. Daily. Matthew 13 and 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in the field. It says to which when a man have found it, he hideth it for joy thereof and goeth and selleth all that he has and buys that field. 
right? The kingdom of heaven is 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 something hidden. It's a hidden thing. Just like what we're teaching over here, it's not for everybody to hear. So guys, look at us like, well, you don't get that. That you know, you don't have any views or a lot of. It's not this. You can't. The Lord told you not to cast pearls to swine, and if you really have pearls. You're not just going to be casting them out there to the multitudes and thousands of people. So we we truly understand that a lot of guys don't really understand what the new covenant is. Matthew 9 and 37, then the disciples, then said he unto his disciples, the harvest is truly plenteous, but the labors are few. The ones that's really for the Lord are few. So just a few things to understand um, dealing with the new covenant is nothing of a broad path or broad gates. It is something of um it's is something where you have to really fully be persuaded in your mind and have that one on one relationship with the Lord on your own. Um this ain't nothing of the world. The, the Paul said, I became all things to all men and that's what we have just so we can save some. You see? And then that's that's the same thing that we're good, how we look at it. You know, guys, all type of guys call us all type of things. But um, this this word is only for the, the few. It's not for everybody, really, at the end of the day. First Corinthians 9 and 22, to the weak become I as weak that I might gain the weak. You see, I am made all things to all men. That I might by all means save some. You see that? So this whole thing is um, about pulling a few out of the fire, like it says in Job and Jude, you see. And this is about repenting in the heart and getting to the Lord, man. Having that personal relationship is a narrow path. You see, a lot of a lot of guys do this to be seen to men, and they don't even care about their hearts changing. Because if guys, if if guys' hearts really change, they understand that we have power right now, and people are being healed. So by what guys are saying out of their mouth, we could tell where their heart is. Hey, repent. Hey, Shalom. Give them something to drink! To the cliff! Track now. Purchase your track now.